Welcome to the FuseNet How-To Series. In this video, we'll take a closer look at accessing and customizing data in the Prices domain. I'm Zoe Wingate, the FuseNet Documentation Specialist. This video will focus on how to search and filter time series prices data, customize and visualize a data set, and export data. After selecting the Prices domain, let's take a look at our search and filter options. For this example, let's say I first want to get a general sense of the data available for grains in Nigeria. I'm going to start off by searching for Nigeria grain here. Of course, another option would be to choose Nigeria and grains from the market and product filters. A quick skim gives me an idea of the data series that are available. Now I've decided I'd like to look specifically at retail pearl millet prices in Ibadan and Meiduguri. So I'm going to use my filters to refine the search. I'll start with the market, typing in Ibadan, then Meiduguri, coming over to product, and selecting pearl millet. So in this case, I've refined my search sufficiently to build my data set and I'll select the two retail data series. In other cases, I may have filtered by price type or product source. The data source document option allows us to filter by a particular source such as FuseNet or the WFP. Down here on the info icon, I can see that the data I've selected comes from FuseNet. Then we have our start and end date filters. So if I'm interested in data from the last three years, I can adjust the start date to January 1st, 2021. And this will exclude collections before that date. Now let's take our data set and look at the visualizations and customization options. There are some previous videos that go into depth on these topics, so take a look at those. Suffice it to say, you can interact with the chart as well as the map here. The table is organized by data source document and includes metadata followed by data values. And we have lots of additional information available on the metadata tab. Finally, we'll touch on the customization options. I could choose to aggregate the data into quarterly reporting, for example. I can adjust the currency or the unit of weight, as well as the file format. I'll take a quick look at the usage requirement for my data set by opening the drawer here, and then I'm ready to download. I can also copy the API link for use with Excel, a browser, or another application. Thanks for watching. For more information, go to help.fuse.net slash FDE. And don't forget to subscribe to the FuseNet channel for more how-tos.